folks howdy yes sir sean brock here with you and we're back down in my part of the world again with a 1944 d18 and i don't know how in the world this has happened but this is the third 1944 d18 that we've had on the channel so we'll try to uh, uh, designate this i'll put part of the serial number up here on this i do believe well i'm certain the uh i better not say that i started to say i'm certain the other two are sold i know one is i'm pretty sure the other one was as well this one belongs to dale owen yes sir that fellow over in brevard north carolina check out that description box i gotta get my bill monroe imitations in early you got to uh give this man a call or give him a text or uh, an email and you got a link there for his web page as well where you can see all of his very very fine stuff uh, this week we've had a 56 d28 a 58 d28 a 1945 d18 and this 1944 d18 and this thing is a absolute monster i mean there is just no if you want a forever guitar, this is this will take you. If you could take this with you through eternity, you would take it into three eternities. I'm telling you. Let's take a listen to her. And by the way, please subscribe if you haven't done so. I appreciate it. Check out the bass. You want to talk about bass? It's all about that bass. Jeez, I'm glad that song ain't popular no more. <laughs> this has bass. Listen to that. Amazing. Responds to absolutely nothing. If I breathe on this thing, it responds. All right, that's a little goofy. Sorry. All right, let's try. Let's try a few more. Let's see Bird on this. Thank you. 
grab the capo. I'm I'm getting too much into goofing off. Not giving you guys nothing. I'm fooling around on you. <laughs> this thing sounds great. <laughs> I like them all, but you know that I'm biased. You already know that I favor mahogany. So, B flat. Enjoy these. I enjoy these. Bear with me. You know, 44 must have been one heck of a year at uh, at C.F. Martin on D-18s. Because I tell you, these things are just really special. We'll see what she's got in the key of C here.
the colors let them how about that clean Nice people, very nice, very nice. Okay, well, I don't know a lot, but you already knew that if you've ever watched a video before. Uh, Adirondack red spruce top 1944. This is scalloped, this is a scallop braced instrument. Still, I stuck my finger right in the sound hole to make sure. Matter of fact, I stuck my whole arm in the guitar. Um, far as condition, I'm a little bit in the dark. I can tell you this, uh, you can't even really detect this. Uh, I'm not sure that it went through. There's a cleat behind the bridge plate, a single cleat, and you can barely feel right here, uh, at the seam. You can barely feel it, but it, doesn't feel like it ever went through. I've got guitars, well, I, actually I don't, but I've had guitars that did not have a center seam crack and the center seam uh, had more of a ripple in it than what you can see or feel on this. This feels, uh, if I'm not sure if they just did that as a preventative. They were afraid that the center seam might open up or what the deal was, but there is a cleat back there. Uh, single cleat behind the bridge plate and uh, I mean if the, if something if the center seam had opened up man it must have been an awful small opening um, replacement bridge it appears to be uh, ebony replacement bridge uh, ebony fingerboard obviously mahogany back and sides Good old stuff. I love this old, old stuff. Love it. Uh, and there's a couple of chinks there in the finish on the back. It's pretty small stuff. And there's the other side of her. Strap button installed on the on the heel here. Um, let's see. Up here at the headstock... Um, there was a, a little something that had got glued up here by the E string tuner. I don't know that you'll even be able to see that right, right there where my finger is. Kind of running in, in line with the screw hole of the E string tuner. Uh, those are obviously they're, those are not original tuners. Um, these are. Uh, some sort of uh, Grover replacement uh, for the originals. Those originals are a lot of trouble, man. <laughs> I mean, Adele told me, he said, I think I'm going to find a set of originals and go with it uh, for somebody that wants them just to have in the case. And, that, and that's that's okay. You know, that's, that's fine. Um, so the guitar has had a neck set. Now there's a decent amount of saddle in here. It plays fairly medium. I don't have my feeler gauges. I can tell you what the height is, but it's nothing extraordinary. Uh, and there's a decent amount of saddle. You could bring her on down if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to say that I was told the neck set was done along about 1999 on it. Real nice round edge fingerboard. Frets are really good, really good. Uh, it's just a little bit of wear on the B string on the, more so the first and third frets. Not much though, not much at all. They're on the B. Um, I would venture to say this, this guitar had a complete refret without a doubt. And uh, whoever did it did a really good job. And uh, I can't, uh, the, the next set, they did a really good job too. You can't tell anything about uh, that. 
and like I say, decent amount of saddle in here. Boy, the sound. <laughs> Wonderful. 111 16 neck. Um, it doesn't feel on the thicker side of the 44s that I've played. Uh, it feels very similar to the to the others. I've seen a few that were thicker than this. Uh, comfortable. Versatile machine. Versatile machine. If you're interested in this guitar, see that description box. Uh, call, text, email, Dale Owen. You can visit his uh, webpage. We'll have the link there for that, too. He's got a bunch of really good stuff, man. He's got uh, he all that money Johnny Depp's talking about that he lost. Man, I kind of wondered if he might have invested in a guitar collection is kind of like Dale's. Dale's got the awfulest collection I've ever seen in my life. It would it would take an act of Congress to figure that collection out. It's huge. And man, it's it's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. But if you're interested in this, please do contact him. I don't think this will last long because I think the, the tone that bass speaks for itself it tells me all i need to know at least and please subscribe if you haven't done so take you out with this one